Bing, bang, bong. Sing, sang, song. Ding, ding, dong. You can run. Bing, bang, bong. Sing, sang, song. Ding, ding, dong. You can run. <laughs> It's going to be so bad. Okay. As you know, world-class traveler icon star on the move. Who am I saying that? Who said that? Who said that? Left the UK. And I have a lot to say about it. Um, okay, the UK. When I first landed, I went to this... Okay, arrival was fine. The Gatwick Airport... Tiny, cute, just outside of the city. Cheap flights arrive there. Budget queen. So I landed at the airport. Nothing spectacular. Got on a train. It was all very European. And you know what? Off the hop, I do have to say I did notice how ugly the British people were. You oh, really no, were. No, and it, it was all jokes. No, but it ain't about joke, because if it was about joke, you would have said, like, ha ha, JK. But it the thing was about. a joke. No, but you didn't say JK, though. But... <laughs> Off the hop, I did hop into a cafe, and um, the land of the white, home of the bland, is the category. So if you're going to eat anywhere, make sure it's run by immigrants. And if you're going to sleep anywhere, make sure it's run by the whites. Travel tips. But off the hop, food was giving bland, and people were giving. I love her lack of energy. Go, girl, give us nothing. <laughs> so I checked into my hostel, uh, Urban New Hostel, which is like kind of in and around central London. It, okay, great thing about London is they have a wonderful public transit system, and it's super easy to like pop in and out um like you can go see the queen and then you can go see like freddie mercury or in like two opposite sides of the city um so transportation system super simple like you can just tap your credit card hop anywhere i really loved that aspect if you're an alcoholic uk perfect place for you if you like smoking weed london has lots of street markets that have local vendors, whatever, they're just ripping off tourists. But if you go to Camden Market and you look, you know, a little ethnic or a little dangerous, same difference, people will walk up to you and offer you to sell you weed. Chris, is that a weed? And the thing is about the lovely land that is the UK, that is an island, is that the weed is complete garbage. complete garbage and it's so expensive so like i love love a, love a good joint and i was on the hunt and yeah i noticed these two people smoking a joint and i ran up to them and they tried to sell me a gram of weed for like 17 canadian dollars which is stupid so I get offended. I'm like, listen, I may be a tourist, but I am not stupid. I'm like, well, how much is it? He's like, it's 15 pounds. So apparently there's a bit of a language barrier there because I asked him how much it costs, not how much it weighs. A little dumb. Yes. Not stupid. Moved on. As I collected my research, I discovered that it is just generally expensive to uh, be smoking weed in London. Um, so when I did finally fork up the cash, it was crap. Let me talk about the positives of London. They have, like, like they do, I mean, like I said before, they have, like, really good ethnic foods. Um, Indian food is great, Italian food is great, they have good Lebanese cuisine. Um, anywhere, essentially, where the UK has decided to take in a lot of refugees, the food happens to be good. So, here's my handy guide to being the kind of immigrant British people don't mind so much. <laughs> First of all, and I cannot recommend this highly enough, be white! Listen, they say causation does not equal... What is it? Correlation does not equal causation, but... In this case, immigrants really are the solution. Yeah, and then I saw all the tourist sites, like the um, like 
people on horses guarding Elizabeth, who's not even apparently in London. There's a conspiracy going on there that she's like dead. Um, did all that, saw my boy Benny. Me and Benny. Say hi, Benny. Hi, guys. Saw that little Ferris wheel, a bridge where Harry Potter flew over. Ah, yes, the nightlife of not London. Um, East London has probably the most like queer vibe, um, which plot twist, that's kind of the vibe we're going for here. So I largely partied in East London and yeah, it was uh, alternative. It was Bimini Bamboolash. Uh, is it cold in here or is it just my nipples? <laughs> the nipples are the eyes of the face. <laughs> and you've got gorgeous nipples. <laughs> uh, music is great. Like they know how to play some bangers. Hi, I'm Renata Bliss, and I'm your freestyle dance teacher. In the bars there, no cover. Booze is expensive for Londoners, but like cheap coming from Canada, which was also a good plus. Um, what else? City felt largely safe. I mean, like, I am a scary looking person when I don't open my mouth, if I just mean mug. But then you just like hear my fruity voice and you're like, ah, it's okay. What else did I do in London? I smoked weed. I ate food. I drank. I danced. I looked at stuff. Yeah, the buildings are, um, as a Canadian, they're very reminiscent of like the style we currently have because that's our mama. Um, so architecturally, oh, the museum. Museums were all free. Uh, I guess because they stole everything in there, like it didn't really cost them much. Um, and those were really cool, learned lots, saw lots of little exhibitions from all around the world. Um, and they also have, so there's the British Museum, the National Museum, and I went to the Science Museum. I They filled Night at the Museum too there. So, fun fact. Yeah, so London's not necessarily, I wouldn't call it the pinnacle of culture. I should have. If I were to do, hey, I'll do an improvement section. Clown. That's clown shit. If I were to do the UK again, I probably would have left London. But like, I also, my goals for the UK were just kind of get acclimated to my travels, go to a place where I knew things that I might need on my trip would be more accessible and like in my primary language. So I wasn't super keen on like training around to like Manchester, Leeds or like I don't know, Edinburgh or something just because for the time and money I have, I'd rather put it somewhere else more culturally different from where I'm from or like with more like like a better culture um, that doesn't involve drinking and colonizing everybody. Um, so I will write London half a silk scarf. And yeah, that's all I have to say about London for now. And stay tuned because Ireland, you're getting reviewed next. Ah! 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 No, 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 no.